Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be trying out LA Girls. These are called the Soft Matte Cream Blush, and they came with three different shades. And of course, girl, I got my hands on all three shades. We're gonna be trying them on today together. We're gonna to see what is the consistency like, how pigmented are they, is there a smell to it, do we have any issues on blending out this product on our skin? And as you can tell, I don't have any blush on. All I have is foundation, concealer, set everything into place, and contoured of it. So we're just gonna go ahead and dive on in. Keep in mind this does run for $5.99, so it's really affordable. It's supposed to give us a soft matte finish. It's supposed to be hydrating with a creamy gel-like consistency. So keep in mind everything will be linked down below in case you're interested. If you already haven't subscribed, I hope you decide to subscribe and be part of the Kit Kat fam. And let's dive on in and try them on starting off with the packaging because I honestly feel like that's important and don't worry it's gonna be really brief because there really isn't much to the packaging <laughs> to be really honest you do receive 0.27 fluid ounces I do like that they're all individual like different colors to match what you're receiving inside you do get a needle nose applicator that you have control of how much product you're squeezing out of a little squeezy tube which I personally like as for a scent it does have a really really light scent like you almost have to look for it and the best way that I would describe the scent is the smell of like a Jolly Ranch but not like super super sweet like in a soft not a strong way if that makes any sense as for the consistency of this cream blush it is really creamy it definitely has a gel like consistency to it it does take a moment for this blush to dry down so I personally like that because I feel like it gives us control of blending out this blush once we apply it on and as for the pigmentation girl let me tell you a little bit of product goes a long way so be aware and this is our first blush shade this is called blissful and the best way that I would describe this blush is more of like a terracotta orangey type of blush which I personally like colors like this I gravitate towards them more than like a pink or a mauve just because I feel like this is the perfect everyday type of blush it goes with anything and you can just kind of run out the door <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my angled BH cosmetics blush brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit of this blush from the back of my hand and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on and as expected, I absolutely love this blush shade. It is so, so beautiful. And as you can tell, it just blended like butter, you guys. It definitely has a beautiful, soft matte finish to the skin. I feel like my skin looks airbrushed. And I love the undertone to it. It was really easy to blend out this product. And it didn't move any of the foundation or concealer or any powders or anything like that that I applied on before applying on <laughs> this cream blush. So that says a lot for me. And I just personally really love it. It didn't move my makeup or anything like that so so far so good let's move on to blush and shade number two now for rosebud I would describe this blush shade as your typical dusty rose blush shade <laughs> and it is so so pretty I literally did the tiniest little drop so you can see for yourself and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand so you can see just how pigmented a tiny little swatch or a little a little bulb of this product is and look how pigmented it is it's really really pigmented so I just wanted to share that with you guys so you can see for yourself what it's all about but I absolutely love the undertone it has a beautiful neutral undertone and that says a lot because I personally am really particular like I mentioned to you guys before I gravitate towards more like terracotta looking blushes than a mauve or a pinky blush but this one is really really pretty I can definitely see myself actually wearing this blush shade and as for the consistency see again it feels really creamy hydrating it has a matte finish well obviously not a matte finish yet because we haven't applied it on but it will once it dries down I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay angled blush brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit of this blush shade I'm just gonna go in and apply it on as expected it blended really really nicely you guys so far it hasn't removed any of the makeup that I have set into place I love how blended so easily and I really love the soft matte finish that it has it's so interesting the formula of this cream blush because when you squeeze out the product it does feel really hydrating that you would naturally think that once you go in with your brush and then go in and apply it on your skin would feel tacky in a certain way because it does have like a gel like creamy consistency to it but honestly it doesn't like my skin does not feel sticky at all and you can obviously notice that it has like a matte finish it doesn't look hydrating or dewy at all where I applied on this blush which is a big plus for me because 
that says a lot. <laughs> that says a lot. And they typically do kind of leave your skin feel a little tacky or have a, like a little shine to it all at the same time, even when they say they have a matte kind of finish to them. So, so far, I'm really impressed. I'm going to give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison, of course, of t Blissful and of Grace. So you can see for yourself the differences in the undertone. Comment down below so far. What do you guys think? And let's move on to blush shade number three. Now for Rosebud, this is described as a basically a rose blush. <laughs> there really isn't much to it, but it definitely doesn't like have like your rosy undertone. It has like more hot pink undertone, at least in my opinion. I'm really excited about it. It has a neutral undertone, which you guys know here on my channel. I love a neutral undertone because I feel like it will complement many different types of skin complexions, which I feel is always important, you know, because it just makes the whole shopping experience so much easier for us. <laughs> but I personally really love it. I feel like this is a perfect springtime type of blush just because it's so happy. It's really colorful and I just feel like it's going to give you like that pop of color. I'm going to go in with my Beach Cosmetics brush. I've already swatched it really quickly on the back of my hand and I'm just going to go in and uh, pick up a little bit of this product or maybe not a little bit, a good amount. <laughs> and I'm just going to go ahead and apply it on the right side of my cheek, which by the way, you guys already noticed, I've already cleaned out the blush shade that I had on, on the right side, which was blissful. And I'm just going to go in and pick a product and then apply it on and just build the pigmentation. What do you guys think? To be honest, I thought this was going to be a lot more of a brighter pink than what it's currently looking. So I'm really impressed. It gives me a nice little, a little tiny bit of pop of color, which I personally love. It looks really natural, soft, airbrushed. It blends really nicely, you guys. I didn't move any of the makeup even after going in with the makeup removing wipe earlier and resetting and reapplying on foundation and everything again. But so far, it looks really, really good. I love the undertone to it and I love the finish to it. Again, a little bit of product goes a long way I was e able to easily build the product to my liking and apply it and layer it on comment down below which blush shade you prefer do you prefer rosebud or prefer grace to be honest I feel like they're both really really pretty I personally loved every single one of these blush colors I'm really really happy that I picked up all three to try out for myself and what see what they're all about I really love the consistency of it and I love the affordability $5.99 I feel like is super affordable if you're trying to build your makeup kit or you're getting newly introduced to you know but wearing makeup and you know you're on a budget I feel like this is perfect or even if you just you know don't want to spend an arm and a leg on a bl blush this is perfect as well it blends really nicely and it's just a little bit of product goes a long way so this will last you a really long time and I love the neutral undertones that these blushes have the formula is really really different I find it very unique which I personally makes me want to love this product even more just because it's hydrating and it has a gel like consistency but once you dab your brush in there and apply it on it just like instantly gives you a matte finish which I personally love and it just looks airbrushed like my skin looks flawless it didn't move the foundation or anything like that which is perfect because if you're someone like me who has hyperpigmentation and you do wear foundation that's like a little bit more to medium to full coverage this is perfect because it's not going to move everything around for you and you can be on the go it doesn't leave your skin feeling tacky or anything like that which is a big plus I hope you guys enjoyed today's video everything will be linked down below please don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always I will see you all in my next video. I love you all so, so much. Bye!